everyone welcome back to my youtube channel i am just aurelian in today's video we will be making chicken thighs potato wedges and kachumbari on the side yes i said we because today i have a very special guest she's my cousin i'll let her introduce herself so let's get ready for her drum rolls <laughs> How are you feeling? I'm great. How about you? I'm happy. Mm -hmm. Feeling grateful you're here finally. Yay. Yep. You I can cook wait. finally. Yeah. So how are you? Who are you? Oh, my name is Patricia. Mm -hmm. I'm Aurelian's best cousin. Best friend. <laughs> I'm here yeah. to you. my best friend, please. I'm your best friend, actually. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm so excited uh, mm -hmm. to show you my little recipe. Okay. I hope you get to try this and enjoy. Okay, so we'll start with the ingredients. Uh, you'll introduce what you have on this okay. side, then I'll introduce this side. Sure. Okay, so what do you have? I have soy sauce. Okay. And I have some cubes over here. Garlic, ginger, and onions. Okay. Yes, and what's on your side? On this side, we have curry powder, black pepper, Cayenne pepper. People say it as thyme. Okay. Thyme. Thyme, thyme. Whatever you call it. Salt. Mm -hmm. Garam masala. This is my favorite spice. Yeah. And chicken. Chicken thigh bone. It's um 1.6 kgs. Yep. Also, we have potatoes. Let me get the potatoes. Okay. Actually, chicken is one of our best yeah. foods that we bond over. Yeah, every the time over we here, meet, we are going we have to, to have chicken. chicken. Yeah. yeah. So let me get the potatoes. Yeah. We've already peeled the potatoes, so it's just to cut them. And I'm a good host. She has a drink. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. the first things first, what are we going to start with? So we're going to chop this into wedges, mm -hmm. literally, and then boil them mm -hmm. for a few minutes. Then we can marinate them and deep fry. deep fry them. Okay, so what are we going to start with? So we're going to pass me the chicken, please. So our chicken here, we're going to boil it first for a few minutes mm -hmm. and then add our spices over here. Okay. And then we wait for the next step. Okay, so let me get a uh, sofuria. Yes. Okay. Put this in a sofuria. Add water. Yes, please. Salt. Okay. That's enough. Yeah. Okay, next one. Time. So you call it time as well? Yeah. Oh, okay. What a okay. of schools. Carry <laughs> <laughs> uh, powder as well. I help you open that? Yeah, please. Yes. All this is like a spoonful. Okay. You can just. Then you twist. Yay, yay, yay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then curry powder like a, a tablespoon. Yeah. All of these ingredients like a tablespoon. Yeah. 
Okay. Can we add some cayenne pepper? Yes, please. Is this enough? Yeah. Okay. You can cover it. So I'm just checking to see if the spices have interacted with each other. The spices are bonding. Bonding. <laughs> Give it a good mix. Yeah. Let's give it another 10 minutes. Yay! On my last potato. Wow. I'm done chopping the potatoes, making them, uh, chopping them into wedges. So how do mm -hmm. you usually boil your wedges? with salt in it so okay. that it has it's salty flavor. nicely yeah. yeah so do you do the same i think so <laughs> sometimes i usually add cooking oil oh yeah that's new i think we should add more but since we'll be uh, deep frying them we don't that, yeah there's no need of adding okay cooking oil but now when i'm putting them in the oven i'll add cooking oil okay. just a little bit okay yeah. a commercial break <sighs> as our food boils the, the potato wedges mm -hmm. i think we'll boil them for like how long a good 30. okay yeah so we should cover them let me give you something 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 a little something. something I'm working. I don't need nothing. <laughs> you, okay. you my everything. Now we wait. Yeah, we take a commercial break. We listen to some music. I'm just gonna do whatever. Distance. <laughs> Keep distance. <laughs> What's a yell? I don't know. What's a end? What's a end? I just like here. I like lip syncing, but just okay. dancing all the parts. Not do it. Not do it. Not do it. Not do Cheers. Cheers. To happiness. Yes. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. That's why I like this drink. Okay. okay. So Let's check on you. Let's check on it. Okay. 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 Be careful. Careful. Okay. How is it? Yeah. It's coming along well. See? Perfect. I'm removing the chicken from the soup so that we can drain the, uh, the soup nicely for deep frying. So you have to be very careful. Fun fact, I can't... You see the people who fry the chicken and it still looks whitish like this? Yeah. I can't eat it. I don't know. I don't know. I have I to mean, see... Is it the smell? Not the smell, the color. Okay. Like it's too white, I can't eat when it's too white like that. So deep frying, it will help to make it a bit brownish. Okay. Uh, so I uh, have removed the chicken in the ch in, in the stew. So mm -hmm. we're just draining the excess water so that when we are deep frying it, you see, you get it? Like, you see bubble. 
this is bubble mouth time magike on us so we're just draining excess water yeah so i'll put this on the side then mm -hmm. what are you doing so i want to make the marinade for the potato wedges so okay. after it has boiled we can dip it and take it to the oven okay so first we start with oil mm -hmm. like this needful Okay. okay. Should I preheat the oven? Yes, please. Okay. So as you do that, I can be preheating the oven. Perfect. Then black pepper. Just put as much as your ancestors tell you to. Okay, then time. You say time. <laughs> <laughs> Every day is a learning day. Yeah. Then garam masala. So that's a tablespoon. Here you go. Okay. Perfect. Oh, this thing is not doing. Don't embarrass me. In front of my people. Okay, <laughs> you need to help me on this. Thank you. And then cayenne pepper. This is optional. There you go. You like chili over here? Yeah. And then just one. I think I need a spoon so that I can mix this all together. Yeah. Thank you. Ooh, it's like six. And it should look something like this. So this is a final product. It looks little, but will for sure add. But that's it. And if you have maybe other spices that you prefer you can add into that as well okay so i added uh more spices so for it to be enough I, I and then i've realized i didn't put paprika which is a needed spice in this so we're gonna add that as well i'm going to pound this garlic and ginger as she's preparing the marinade. So we need that red orangey consistency. We're done mixing the marinade. Now we're gonna put the potato wedges into the marinade and put it into the oven. We have already preheated our oven. Now that's yeah but also yeah we've already removed the potato wedges from the fire yeah. we are draining excess water so when we are putting it here it mm -hmm. won't have water yes mm. so nearly the favorite color <laughs> it took a talking stage mm. <laughs> okay please roll what's your favorite color mm. <laughs> <laughs> so okay what's your favorite meal oh yeah chicken and fries mm -hmm. or just potatoes in any form no fries. fries okay and kachumbari on the side with dania mm -hmm. perfect yeah so we are making her favorite food and what other thing did i want to ask oh my god it has slipped my mind oh so what do you eat in a day like if you're not if you're not oh. doing intermittent fasting or if you're not on any diet on a good day where you have like either mm -hmm. breakfast like a good day what do you eat a good day mm -hmm. okay so in the morning i have cornflakes mm -hmm. that's on a good day mm -hmm. and then i often skip lunch okay. so it's just dinner mm -hmm. so Maybe if it's ugali and nyama or 
I only take nyama, kuku. You don't take fish? But yeah. I've started liking it, by the way. I didn't tell you. I started liking it. Oh, okay. That's with, awesome. Mm-hmm. Uh, coconut milk. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And on a bad day, how do you eat? Right. You can stay a whole just, day without eating. Yes, just snacks. Like bad which day. snacks? Like biscuits and a milk. Day. Yeah. Girls, when they tell you they eat nothing, <laughs> when they yes. tell you they forget to eat, it's true. Yeah. So let's try this hack. Okay. So I think the oil is ready. It's hot enough. Oh. You see that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I've shown you guys many times. If you've not seen it, just scroll through my videos, my old videos. I have a glow up, but the trick is still the same. <laughs> So you I'll can't do the door. No, 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 no. Okay. So you have to be very careful. The oil is very hot. So. Oh. We do that. And we are going to, to do like four at a time because we don't want to overcrowd the pan. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that we just give every piece time to brown and cook nicely. Yeah, okay. Yeah. For how okay. long? Uh, I really can't estimate, but we'll just see. You'll just see when it starts turning brown. You turn to the other side. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it will. It's easier to know. Okay. Mm-mm. If you're an African, we just know. Then we will just measure our spices. Yeah. What are your pet peeves? Uh, okay, in the kitchen, in the kitchen setting, I don't like dirtifying my hands. Mm-hmm. So, even when I cut an onion, I'll have to go wash yeah. and dry my hands. Okay. Not just washing. When I'm cutting, when I'm going to wash an onion, mm-hmm. I'll go wash the onion. Put it down on the chopping board, dry my hands, and come chop it. Again. Again. Okay. So I can't, I can't stay with my hands either wet or a little bit dirty. I can't. Okay, can I see my... Yeah, with friendship, please start. First of all, I hate um, liars. Hate or dislike? Hate. Okay. <laughs> hate liars. Mm-hmm. Um, second of all... Comparison. Okay. Among friends, if it's in relationship, that one I cannot stand. Okay. Yeah. Those are my major. With friendship, Mm -hmm. do I really have the major ones? Okay. For me, I wouldn't call them pet peeves, but those things that will make me a little bit bored. Yeah. Or a little bit distant that will make me want to be a bit distant. It's mm-hmm. like um, when I have to keep on reaching you or oh, calling. Like yeah. every time I'm the one who is always checking up on my friend, I'll feel like, okay. It's only one-sided. Yeah, so okay. if it's one-sided, yeah, it's tiresome. It takes a lot of energy. And... Yeah. I wouldn't be friends with um, someone who I don't have many similarities with. Mm-hmm. At least we should be having two or three things in common. Yeah. Yeah. But also it is good to be, to have your different views different. on things, yeah. but we should have a little bit of common ground. Yeah. Mm. I still, uh, not yet. It has not browned yet. Yeah, so we'll keep... We'll keep frying it. And this cooking okay. oil is very clean. Have you noticed? Like compared yeah. to other cooking oils, this one looks very clean. Hmm. So We're like for you see. in the kitchen, mm-hmm. what are your eggs in the kitchen? Um, I mean, dirty surfaces as well. Mm-hmm. But I, I don't wash my hands at tea. As Every time I see when I touch an onion, I'm washing. No, no, no. When I'm done with the onion, I'm gonna wash. Then oh. tomatoes like that. 
and uh, wet floors. Nah. Because also, the other thing. Mm -hmm. oh, did I cut you short? No, it's okay. Uh, the other thing, like, even when I'm eating, I don't like making my palm uh, dirty. Oh, yeah. So I'll eat like this. But now what if you have a hamburger and you have to, you know. I, I can't. I'll have to keep on wiping. Or even when I'm having ugali, I'll have, okay, with a What's lot then? of soup, mm -hmm. I'll have to be, I don't know. Like, <laughs> What's the joy in that? Because you know, okay, kuku, it has to go to your cheek. I can't um, hold kuku like this. Yeah. I'll hold it like that. Like I can't, I can't stand my hands dirty. I don't know what it is about, but I just can't stand my hands when they're very dirty. Not very oh, dirty, Lord. even greasy from eating mm -hmm. something with with a lot of oil. I'll have to go wash and go back start eating. Yeah. Okay. And I've just accepted myself like that. So. Well, that's okay. You know, I like the messy. You know, if it's the burger. You are eating it's the, everything. The, the cheese, the mustard falling on the side. Oh, no, 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 no. That is a good one. <laughs> That's a nightmare <laughs> to me. <laughs> that one is a good one. So we're already done with the deep frying the chicken. It's looking mm -hmm. really awesome. Then after that, we will fry the onions and add in the chicken so that it just gives us, it gives the chicken a nice flavor. Yeah. Yeah. I'm ho I'm think I'm thinking we'll add. That's soy where sauce. we'll add the soy sauce. Yeah. To just add more color because in the beginning I told you I do not like white, just seeing the chicken very white like that. So we'll add the soy sauce and add one cube to just make it taste really good. Then we add our ginger and garlic to the mixture. Our soy sauce. Oopsie, sorry. in your so we're gonna add one cube and the beauty about this it it melts very easily into the chicken by the way if you have a pili pili ho ho you can also add into this at this point And your chicken is about ready. Yay, we are done cooking, right? Done. <laughs> Let's show you guys the results. So. Ooh, that's looking. Scrum deli yum yum. <laughs> My purple. <laughs> <laughs> That's looking really good. Okay. Our potato wedges. Done. Looking yummy, right? Oh, I can't even smell the spice. Uh, 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 uh. So, I think um, I'll serve like how many? I think. Um, like enough. It's for testing. The chicken is looking ah. really delicious. It's giving what it's supposed to give. 
<laughs> delicious. It's giving delicious. Yeah. This a generous amount of kachumbari. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Happy faces. You go first. You're the guest. Okay. It's hot. I'm gonna <laughs> with a bit. Yeah, no. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. That's yummy. I'm sure I tried that chicken. From the beginning, mm, my mess. From the beginning, I was very mm. excited about the kachumbari. I didn't tell you about it, but for some reasons, I was very excited about kachumbari. And the mixture, the combo, mm. kachumbari and the potato wedges. Mm -mm, mm -mm. So, I think with the chicken. So you try my just... chicken, then let me know. Okay. Taking it too long to answer. <laughs> I have to digest this. Manas. Mm -hmm. The seasoning, 10 out of 10. The, the chicken is crispy, not dry, but crispy. And in the inside, it's soft. From the outside, it's a bit crispy. From the inside, it's soft. Mm -hmm. And the seasoning, perfect. Just try it. Try it Thank as well. Thank you so much. Let me just do a bite. As you've seen, the food, 10 out of 10. Atakama ni minu mepika. Atakama na jisifia ni sawa, but still. You try it out. It's 10 out of 10. So... Thank you so much for having me. I really enjoyed. And thank you for coming. Thank you for gracing my YouTube channel. Yeah, I was very excited when you said you're gonna come. Of course. And the food has turned out very perfect. So yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye. Till next time. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for getting to the end of this video. I hope you really enjoyed watching it because I also enjoyed creating it together with my cousin. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and share. Also, you can try the recipe at home. You see how it will turn out. See you on the next one. Bye.